So I recently finished reading all of these Sylvia Morana Garcia books and let's rank them, shall we? So on number six will be Velvet Was the Night. This was the one that I found myself the least intrigued by the characters and the plot. It only picked up by the last part of it, like the final conflict. Very atmospheric, the writing is still beautiful, but definitely my top six. And then this one, Untamed Shore. This one I rated at 4.25 stars. I definitely enjoy this one. I'm giving this a very high rating. It's just that some of the other ones are definitely a bit higher than this, but I still really enjoyed this one. And then next will be Gods of Jade and Shadow. I've, I read this one when this came out in 2019, so it's been a while, but I remember really enjoying this one as well. So I'm gonna put this here. But whenever I recall reading this one, I remember just having a lot of fun enjoying it. Again, atmospheric, beautiful writing. Next one is Certain Dark Things, 4.5 stars. I had a lot of fun with this one. It's a very unique vampire lore that I enjoyed so much. Again, how many times will I say it? Beautiful writing, atmospheric. And then Beautiful Ones. This one I loved so much. Nina, I loved her so much. I feel very protective of her. I had a lot of feelings about this one because of everything that Nina has gone through. And I, I love this. And then Mexican Gothic. I feel like this is the epitome of my overall experience with Silvia Moreno Garcia in that I'm repeating beautiful writing, atmospheric reads, and compelling characters. I absolutely love this one. Reading this book, I was tense the entire time because I was also frustrated by the fact that I wanted to know what was going on, but you just can't put your finger on it. Like, you can't put your finger. There's something wrong. There's something going on. You just can't put your finger on it. And I was just on the edge of my seat the entire time I'm reading this. And I had such a great time reading this. Stressful, but had a great time. <laughs> 